Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are finally here, and this might be the most exciting generation yet. There's open world mechanics, hot professors, goofy starters, lowly rendered backgrounds, NPCs that are glitchy as hell, and I am really excited to check it out today. Ooh, oh shit, we're just getting right into the creator customization. Okay, it's like a life sim right now. Oh my god, we're just starting off with the creator customization. No professor, no story. Wow, you can already change your hairstyle and everything. Thank god, because that haircut is ugly. That's an interesting place for the braid. Um, Why is the rest of the hair short except for that one braid? Oh, that's a Karen haircut. Okay, okay, I'm like 10. Why am I allowed to give this to myself? What in the fucking lizard people shit is this? Okay, look at my application for the Yuva Academy. Why is the language above my name? Shouldn't my name come first? Isn't that the first thing they need to know about me? And we're immediately met with a low quality render of the Academy. It's time for you too to dive into the world of Pokemon. Oh my God, there's our queen, our icon, waiting for me to press A. I'm gonna leave her hanging just to piss her off. Okay. <laughs> We're only like 10 seconds into the game and already there's a Pikachu right there. Like, are you kidding me? They couldn't even give us a break. Oh, oh, oh my God. Speaking of baddies, here's another baddie right here. Ooh, oh my God. Why does this shit look like a movie? Damn. Okay, cinematics. Okay, I see you. What is this man doing? He's just soaring and flying. He's gonna crash. He's gonna crash for sure. Oh my god, system malfunction, huh? Oh my god, he's dying. He died. He died. Get up. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Damn. Like, why is that shit so fucking dramatic for? Can I spin? Can I spin? Do a twirl. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon, I need you to answer the question. Why do they always have the pillow on the other side of the bed? Why? Why? Who sleeps like that? Like genuinely, who gets up in the morning, makes their bed and puts everything upside down? Oh my God, my mom's hot. That's all that matters. My mother is hot. Where the fuck is the door? I'm like looking for, oh, found the door. I don't know why I think he's British. Doesn't he just look British to y'all? All right, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your balls. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Look at Fue Coco. Fue Coco's just staring. Not a thought behind those eyes, honestly. I respect that. Look at them just running around all willy nilly. Yes! Oh! oh my God. Do you have anything you'd like to say to me? So true, so true, spilling nothing but facts. So you're that kid who moved up in the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. Of course, this nosy ass girl already trying to get up all in my business. Like, okay, Nimona, we get it. You wanna be friends? What if I say no? Can I say no? Huh? What's wrong? Did I scare you off? Yeah, you, yeah. Here we go. It's time. We're choosing our Pokemon starter. Of course, I'm picking this. Look at him with the sass. Oh my God. Quaxley here reminds me of a closeted theater kid. And you know who else was a closeted theater kid? Kurt Hummel. Like this is Kurt Hummel specifically season one. And I am going to train this man to be the fabulous gay that he deserves to be. He sees me as his mentor. I am here to allow him to be himself so that he can flourish as an icon. This, I can't believe you actually chose Quaxley. What do you mean? I mean like way to make the perfect choice for you. I mean, obviously the gays got to stick together, but like, you don't have to point it out. I mean, for all we know, like this man right here could be homophobic. Now I want to raise a new Pokemon. This girl is trying to upstage me. I am here as the new kid with my new Pokemon. And she's already like, no, I want one too. Oh wow, she went for, <laughs> I thought she was going to take the stronger one. Why? Why do they always give your rivals the weaker one now? Come on, that's not fun. Miss Numona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling, clearly. I'm so curious, like, are you able to die in this game? Is this like Legends Arceus? Obviously not, Legends Arceus is probably better. Can I swim? Oh my God, look at me treading What? You managed to scramble, oh. You can't even drown in this game? Ugh, come on. I don't know why, but like the entire vibe of this game is just reminding me of Coco Melon. Like, am I the only one who thinks that first official battle of the game? Let's have a fruitful battle. Did she just call me Fruity? She's really trying to tell me she's an ally, huh? Coming out with Fue Coco and I'm going out with my boy, Kurt Hummel, yes! I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. No, me already leveled up. Okay, come through, oh. 
Ready to go. Now you'll be staying in the school dorms. Excuse me, I'm moving out and I'm only just finding out about this now. I'm like 10 years old. What the fuck? We got Miss Victoria Porkchop Parker just chilling around in the background and Mona is going to be teaching me how to catch Pokemon. Wait, oh my God, I have to catch it? <gasps> You're telling me in this tutorial, it's actually going to be like a hands-on experience? I live for that. Okay. Pound on the man. Pound on him like he's a piece of meat and then you just throw the pokeball okay we love this interactive tutorial honestly this is the direction that pokemon needs to go in y'all already know what i'm calling this man like hello we got fucking pork chop the first pokemon that i caught in this game the pork chop queen of the pokedex okay so i can't actually catch them like it's legends arceus honestly that's kind of a missed opportunity to bring more legends arceus gameplay into this that could have been a lot cooler why is this man just staring at me like you trying to fight uh, um hello let's pretend like that didn't happen like we didn't just see the underworld you gotta remember that pokemon is an indie company you know they're trying as hard as they can but life could be difficult is that what i think it is oh my god Oh my God, it's so small. Uh oh, yikes. Yeah, it was very smart of me to use my water type against this. And you know, I've seen Pommy's final Evo and I saw that it becomes this big fat orange thing. And you know what's another big fat orange thing that I love? Brian from Dream Daddy. All right, might as well make our way to the lighthouse. Look at this big ass straw. Ugh. I mean, like, I'm so jealous of the player, man. Why do they get to live in this gorgeous ass area like this? Like, I live in Toronto. You don't get shit like this unless you're like looking out in a lake. Like, this is an ocean. Hey, Vis, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? Let me see. So far, you've caught. Ooh. Oh. I thought, th I thought that was Nimona. <laughs> I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. Hmm, I wonder where I'm supposed to go as the character. The cutscene's just gonna do the rest of the work for me. Honestly, I live for that. Oh my god, there she is. It's our queen. I just fell off the cliff. And I... Okay. I did not expect to meet it this early on in the game. I thought it was going to be like a lot later than it is, huh? Hmm. I wonder what I'm supposed to give in my inventory to help this Pokemon perk up. It's a robot though. Can a robot eat a sandwich? What the hell is it going to do with... D can it even taste? Does it have taste buds? And she's just walking away without even saying thank you. Like, come on. Common courtesy, dude. Do I follow it? Oh, oi, this! Where's she coming from? Oh, how did she see me? Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever they need that cry. Yeah, don't try to make this about you, Nimona. This is about the fact that I fell down into a cave. Ew, oh my God, ew, not a fucking young goose, ew. Ugh, but I have to catch it for the Pokedex. I just know that if young goose spoke, he would do nothing but just try to start shit, you know? He looks like he smells like corn chips too. And yet I just caught one. Can I try fighting that hound doom? Like, why is there just a hound doom there? Like, you got something you want to say? Say it to my face, dog. Or like, oh, you're so big and scary. Just staring at me all menacingly. Like, I can come up there and just kick you. And you'd be done for. Like, don't even try it. Oh, God. It's the one I was talking shit about. It's actually coming to my face to fight, huh? Wait, am I actually about to- Oh my god, Quaxley. I'm so sorry. Oh, Maridon's gonna come in to save the day, huh? Oh, okay, damn. Literally kicking ass. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> this is like a whole ass movie. What the hell? Once again, voice acting would make this scene so much nicer. Let's exchange, oh my God, we got her number. We already got a girl's number only on our first day here. Holy shit, we're like an hour into the game and we haven't even made it to the academy yet. Is there somebody there at the lighthouse? Who is that? Oh my God, is that who I think it is? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Wait, do they have beef? You're enrolled in the humanities track. He's a humanities major? Just like me. You're the son of Professor Turo. No wonder he's hot. Okay, like why is Arvin kind of a bitch? I thought he was gonna be like a soft boy nice. Enemies to lovers? Oh God, now I gotta battle him. And just like that, I now have access to Maridon and Maridon is my Pokemon. For some reason it was Arvin's first and now it's mine. Okay, we're about to find out why he had it. Oh, never mind. he's not gonna spill. I mean, I guess. I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up being the villain in the game. Wait, I can just walk right past him we're locking eyes. Why isn't he initiating the battle? You can avoid trainer battles in this game now? It's just a frick. Oh my god, Wooper. I didn't even notice. 
Paldean Whooper, I found one already. I have a perfect nickname for it, but I don't know if it's gonna let me. Will it let me do Shadid? Damn it. Fine, we'll go with my second option, Doodoo -doo Head. Come through, Doodoo -doo Head. I'm adding him to my party, I don't care. Oh my God, already another one? <sighs> Look at it. Y'all see those people in the background? You know, I get it though. Like even though we're on the Switch, Pokemon is just catering to the older audience and they want it to feel like you're still playing the game on a Game Boy. That's what it is. That's what it is. You know, they just want to add that nostalgic element with the low quality graphics and the low quality rendering, blah, blah, blah. Pressing the R button is a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokemon, all right, buddy, let's go. Once you give the go ahead, your Pokemon will set out on its own to battle and pick up items. Oh shit, he's gonna, oh, okay, square up on that man. He's just doing it no problem too. Like he doesn't even care. Fuck it up, Kurt Hummel, yes. This is just like that episode when he started beating up those homophobes. Oh, okay, it's gonna beat up the hop hip for me. Never mind. Okay, we're running. Come on. <laughs> oh God, that hop hip's coming for him. Oh God, and now I gotta battle her already. And we're just gonna do it right here. Like right in front of the door. What if somebody needs to walk by? They gotta just walk past our Pokemon mid battle. That seems dangerous, don't you think, Nimona? Seems like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon. Well, girl, I have six. Miss Mam is pulling out the terrestrialization technique. I don't even know what this is yet. She's really trying to show off, huh? Like, we get it. You know how to battle. Bam. <laughs> she did all that, and I still defeated her. Two hours into the game, and we finally made it to Mezagoa. Is that what it's called? So like, I'm so confused. Is it a Saturday? Is it like early morning? Like what time do our classes start? Am I skipping class right now? I'm still surprised that we can't go into people's houses. Are they doing that to like, let the players know, hey, it's not okay to invade people's homes? Or, you know, is it just because Game Freak's a small indie company and they just didn't have the time? I'm talking to this Pachirisu through this girl. Oh my God. She just put her phone right up in my face. Like, excuse me, ma'am. Everybody say cheese. <laughs> I can get a Quaxley case for $3,000. Hell yeah. It's time to walk up these steps and look at that person and his horrible frame rate. Oh my God. It's tough being a kid. It sure is, buddy. I feel you. Ooh, we got some tea. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. It's that girl, the actual blue haired liberal with pronouns. We're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Should I help her out or walk away? I mean, I'm the main character, so obviously I'm gonna chime in. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? No. Ugh, another ignorant little nobody. Why does she look like she's about to pee her pants? Oh, Nimona coming in to save the day. Yes! It's that student council dweeb. Of course she's a part of the student council. No, of course she's a snitch. I don't blame her. She looks like she's a snitch, honestly. What is going on? What is Nimona doing? Oh. Oh, we're gonna be terrestrializing now? And I get to do it against a young goose too. Fuck those little things right there. Oh, this is gonna be satisfying, huh? Well, let me guess, it works exactly like Dynamaxing. You press this and then you do a move and then there's a form change that involves an animation involving the Pokeball. Yeah. It's basically Dynamaxing, but crystal version instead. Is she the evil villain in this game? She gives me evil villain vibes, especially with that front pretending like she's shy. Like she's not even wearing her uniform, by the way. Can we talk about that? She's the only one not in uniform. Damn, honestly, if schools looked like this in real life, I'd actually go to them, honestly. Oh, oh my God. Why are they... <laughs> this is a full-fledged AAA game. Why are they moving like that? The kid is right next to you. Why is he moving like that? Nintendo, what the fuck are y'all on? Oh my God. And here I am to make an entrance. Look at me serving. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? I'm this. So calm and collected, he's pretty cool. Yeah, I am. Ugh. Can I ask a question? Why are y'all so eager to learn more about me? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like playing with my Pokemon. 
I'm totally the same. I know for a fact he's lying. I have a question. Oh God, what do you want? You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill this. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? I honestly don't know, but I'm not gonna expose myself in front of all these randoms. I'm just gonna say, I wanna be a strong trainer. You will be, oh, I just know it. You and me, oh my God. Once again, she's making everything about herself. They really just turned this into a school simulator. Who do I go to first? Do I go to the cafeteria and deal with Arvin? Or do I go to the staff room and deal with Nimona? Let's go see what Arvin wants. I wanna get close to him so I can get close to his father. This is everybody when they have conversations with me. This is fruit, right? I have been told that there are Pokemon that camouflage themselves as fruit. Does that confirm the fact that people accidentally eat the fruit Pokemon? Wait, what the hell? This is a literal child. What is the age limit at this school? There's like kindergartners, there's like me, I'm supposed to be in middle school. <gasps> Oh my god, he's staring at me. He's staring at- Hi. Hello. Do you have anything you'd like to say to me? Oh my god, look at him looking down at me. Arvin! You remember me, right? I'm gonna be petty and say I don't think we've met. What? Come on! I gave you Maridon's Pokeball. Did I forget to introduce myself? Oh, see? I hurt his feelings. And now he's gonna start simping for me. That's how it works. You gotta manipulate men to get them to do what you want. Ladies. Gays. You heard it from me. No need to tell me your name this, right? How do you know that, stalker? Whole school seems to be talking about you. Well done, I'm the main character. The president? Nimona's the president of student council? That makes so much sense. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you. Uh <laughs> He's flirting with me? Oh my god, Arvid. Arvin! Oh my god! He wants me to make his dreams come true. Arvin? Oh! <laughs> I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors. The perfectly prepared sandwiches. All of it. I found this book the other day and it had a section about these urban mystery. Herba Mystica, I know how to read. Basically, there are some kind of special herb that heals up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. There are a total of five different types of Herba Mysticas based on what I can read. Why is his skin glitching out like that? Is he about to explode? What the fuck is going on here? But this book says here they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning it's gonna be pretty tough to try and even grab a few sprigs. I wanna get those herbs all for myself, but I'm not really good at Pokemon battles. You've gotta help me out. You'd be perfect. I mean, like, only cause you're kinda hot, honestly. I'm sorry, I have to even admit it. I like the hair. Is it weird that I like the hair? Nope, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans on your map app for you. Oh, they're gonna tell me all the types right now. Dragon, Earth, Sky, Stone, and Steel. And just like that, that's one of the storylines unlocked. Um, interesting. This is Vis, correct? Who the fuck is this? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. My name is Cassiopeia. But never mind that, it's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. Look how serious I am right now with my bushy brows. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation. And I'd like you to be one of them because I'm Valentina. I mean, I guess. Like, sure. No need to reply this second. I said yes. Why are these people not listening to me? Oh, um. <laughs> oh my god, $80. That's how much I spent on this game, by the way. $80. Oh my god, like, I'm literally in a library of a school right now. This is like the perfect, I need to like go on this tangent. I'm from Toronto, right? And like anybody who is from Toronto in like 2019, 2020, actually it was the beginning of 2020. Oh, I'm pretty sure people are gonna know where I'm going with this. If you went to like UFT or York, fun fact, I went to York. There was this guy who used to take buckets of fecal water, like water from porta potties 
and just dump them on random students in university libraries. I wasn't there when it happened, but I had a friend who was, and apparently it was wild. Like, I feel so bad for the person who got like shit dumped on them. Every time I'm in some kind of a library, that's all I think about. So, pee pee poo poo man, if you're watching this, what the fuck were you on? Like, that's all I need to know. Is that who I think it is? Is that my, <gasps> it's my girl. God, I love her. I fucking love her. Oh, I wish I could talk to her now, but clearly I can't. Also, that girl right there serving in that outfit, the denim on denim, the bell bottoms, the way she's wearing that jacket. I'm obsessed. Well, since your heart's already set on you becoming a strong trainer, I got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Sure. I mean, it's a Pokemon game, so obviously we have to do that. The treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got going on here. Should happen soon. What day is it of the year, by the way? Like, is this the middle of a semester? Is this like right before summer vacation? Like what the hell is going on? What the hell is this stupid treasure hunt thing too? Wow, they already show you all the gym leaders too? Okay, Victory Road, that's another storyline started. I'm really about to do all three of them all at once, huh? Calling Master Vist to the director's office, please. <gasps> I'm already in trouble on my first day of school. Why do they keep calling me master, by the way? I'm like 10. Who the hell are you? Can I please talk to you? Taking time out of your day to attempt to converse with me. You must be absolutely mad. I love her. I don't care that she's being mean to me. Oh my God, she literally turned around. Hello, Vis. Feel free to come ask me questions anytime. Can I ask you questions now? Um, I'd like to ask you a question now. Miss Time, I'm here to ask you a question. I know I can ask I can ask you questions. That's why I'm here right now. Ooh, I'm at the principal's office. I'm already in trouble. Hey, that lamp's from Animal Crossing. You may be wondering why we could not have this simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter that they would like to discuss with you. Who? Is it who I think it is? Oh, no. I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Oh God, we're doing a Zoom meeting. <gasps> Some may have chosen Violet over Scarlet because of the Coriodon versus Maridon. Others may have done it because of the Paradox Pokemon. I did it because I wanted to interact with the DILF. As we all know, my sexual awakening were the Wiggles when I was four years old, but like, I didn't start questioning until I made it to senior year in grade 12 when I had a teacher who was really, really attractive and a guy who looked a lot like Professor Turo here. What the fuck is this giant asshole? What is going on here? Okay, that's it. That's our introduction to the professor. We don't even get to meet him in person. Like what? You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Maridon, is that correct? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that you are honest in confirming the facts. These people love it when I'm honest, huh? How am I supposed to joke and lie in this game? Oh, hello? So like, does it eat sandwiches to like power itself? Or like, does it require gasoline? Because if it requires gasoline, it's inside a building right now. Um, that seems a little dangerous, don't you think? Will you continue looking after Maridon on my behalf? I mean, I guess. I do appreciate your agreement. Maridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle, but you can use it as a motorcycle, basically. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? What's Area Zero? Turo, don't tell me you actually did it. Did what? So many unanswered questions. What is going on? Time for another cutscene, as you can tell by the black screen. Oh my God. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. ISUs, shout out to Ontario students. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own adventure. We're not exactly traveling the world though, we're only traveling our country. Oh God, the frame rate of everybody in the background is so awkward. Hey, that student looks like me. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. So that's it, like what? <laughs> We're just set off on adventures. We're not even going to class or anything. What the hell? What is the treasure hunt though? 
Like, what exactly am I supposed to do? Oh, I just accidentally entered the camera. What the hell? Oh, I really said rawr, huh? Ooh, <laughs> let's take a photo with this guy in the background. Why does this kid look more like me? than my actual player. The treasure hunt, it's finally starting. What are we supposed to do exactly? Like, I'm so confused, what is going on? The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paul Day has got to offer. There's stuff we never learned sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. So true. Okay. Honestly, if school was like this in real life, I feel like more people would actually go to school and pay attention if they let you do like real time experiences. <gasps> Hi, sir. Arvin. This is gonna have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. Oh my God, they're fighting over me. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. I love when people fight over me. Like that's how popular I am, damn. Hey. Cassiopeia here. Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might even try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. Who the hell is that dude who represents the fighting crew? Whoever they are, I love them. I love that makeup. Oh my god. Star Falls Street, and just like that, the final mission has been unlocked. All three storylines. Wait one second, who are you supposed to be? In Team Star? Those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Viss's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I'll do anything with you, Arvin. Trust. My queen, Miss Maridon. I can finally ride her. Yes. Okay, now I know I technically can't nickname this Pokemon because the game won't let me, but just know that in my head, I'm calling her Motomami. Shout out to Rosalia. <laughs> okay, it looks like all three of the things that I'm supposed to head to first are in the same area. So I guess we got to make our destination to there, huh? Um, I'm sorry, who is she? Who the fuck is she? Why does it look like that? Fucking bobblehead looking ass. It looks like a Peter. So I'm gonna name it Peter. Why is my phone ringing again? Oh my God, Arvin! Wait, oh my God, am I out here doing the Stony Titan thing? I actually have no idea which one I was planning on doing. Since Arvin's so desperate for my help, like I guess we could start off with that one. <gasps> it's a new Pokemon. Oh my God, what the hell is that? A Nimble? Oh, she kind of cute. I love her. Honestly, kind of looks like a Switchblade. It's only appropriate that I name it Switchblade. Wait, what? <gasps> Kurt Hummel evolving already? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Kurt. Oh my God. He evolved from season one Kurt who was still closeted and ashamed of who he is. This is Warbler Kurt. This is when he transferred and met Blaine and started to become more comfortable in itself. Still a bit questionable in the fashion sense, but we respect it anyways. Oh. Oh my God. Wait, it just chills there in the wild? I thought it was like a special stage like in Legends Arceus. The giant cloth, the Titan cloth that I have to battle in order to impress Arvin is just chilling here on the wall. Hello? Do I, th oh. Okay, we're gonna ignore that Pokeball that just froze. Oh, here we go. In the middle of the night, I run into our first Titan. And that bitch is loud as hell, huh? All right, we're gonna terastalize for this because clearly this shit's getting too intense. Come on, Kurt Hummel. Kurt Hummel is overcoming his fears and flourishing into the man that he needs to be. So he's got to defeat Cloth in order to do it. Let's go. Yes. Oh, that's it? Only one move? Oh, wait, it's running away. No, come back. I have to find it now? What the hell? Excuse me, sir, come back here. Can I jump on it? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm inside it. Oh my God. I was literally standing right there. I could be dead. Arvin, hi. Hi, Arvin. You came at just the right time. I was like beating it up. You missed it. I looked so cool. You should have been here. I wish I recorded it. You could have actually seen it. Oh. Okay, round two, I guess. 
That's what's happening. Now it's on, clearly. Wait, he's battling with me. I'm gonna terastalize right away. I don't think that was a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Bam, oh, that did so much damage. Come through, Kurt Hummel. But Arvin had the final hit. That's what I expect from Arvin. See, I set that up for him so that it could boost his confidence so that he feels safe around me. Girl, shut up. Oh my God. Yes, Kurt Hummel. He really did that. He did that. Look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. Oh, he started calling me buddy. Oh my God. I bet somewhere in here, there's more of that Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Let's have a look around before it comes back. Damn. It's just chilling there. Wow, just like that, one Titan down. How fun. Oh my God, look at us. <laughs> this is so cute, what the fuck? <laughs> just boys being boys, making sandwiches in the middle of a cave. Oh, and we're on our first date. We're having a picnic date in the middle of a cave. And of course, Motomami is here to cock block. What's with that thing? It just comes out of its ball on its own whenever it wants. Oh, Miss Moto Mommy, of course she wants her sandwiches. Yeah, like you can have this sandwich if you want because I feel like it would eat me if I don't give it. I went through all that trouble to make that for you. Oh, now I feel bad. He made it for me. He's giving me attention. Oh, and he's giving me half of his sandwich as repayment. Oh, I have a boyfriend in Pokemon land. That's amazing. Maridon will be able to dash now. That's how you unlock the other forms. I don't know why. Arvin, I think it's just from Pokemon Legends Arceus and Volo. I, I'm starting not to trust him. Oh, what's going on? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now. Who? Who? Don't leave me hanging, who? He's the villain in the game, isn't he? I hate it here if he is. Oh, oh God. Oh God, I dealt with one hot man and now the other hot man's here. This is Turo, who also has my phone number for some reason. I detect that Maridon has gained some of its original power. It seems that it'll now be able to dash at high speeds. I will do anything for Professor Turo, just so everybody knows. Ooh, look at me zooming along. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yes. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. Fuck it up, Moto Mommy. Look at this bitch go with them moves. Yes. We have been at this for way too long and I think it's finally time that we make it to the next city. Although I will say though, I feel like this game is gonna be so much more fun the second time around, like a hundred percent. Because here's the thing, I'm talking about Legends Arceus and like, honestly, I'm replaying Legends Arceus right now, like I said, a million times more fun the second time around. Like the first time around, I feel like it's because I was just rushing through trying to get to the end of the story. And I'm kind of doing that here right now. Legends Arceus, second time, so much more fun. I'm 20 hours into the game. Kurt Hummel, Excuse me, Kurt, you're not supposed to sleep. Wake up, Pearl, what the fuck? I'm 20 hours into Legends Arceus and I only just beat Cleaver. Like I have been just running around all willy nilly, battling and catching Pokemon and stuff. And like, honestly, it is so fun. Are you kidding me? You're just gonna make all my Pokemon fall asleep is that's what's happening right now? Seems a little unfair. Due to it, I swear to God, if you fall asleep too, I'm gonna stomp on you. Why did I use a ground type move on Ghastly? I just took that in. Why did I bring Dudu head out into this battle? We have made it to the town with the low clipping windmill. Oh my God, yes, baddie. Oh my God, look at this Pokemon serving right front and center. We're basically here to take on the gym. Here it is in its glory. So without further ado, before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them, their gym test. Are they actually all going to have gym challenges this time? Or is it going to be like Sword and Shield where only the first four have them? Here at the Amazon gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. That's the gym challenge. So I got to find them throughout the city and gather 10 of them to pass the test. So there's, there's no time limit or anything. Interesting. There's the first one. Yeah, this seems pretty straightforward. <gasps> and I can ride Moto Mommy as I do this too. Oh, no, it's running away. Excuse me. What? Do I have to battle it? 
Oh. Why is the frame rate on the Sunflora so bad? We are literally in battle. Is it doing that on purpose? I'm so confused. POV, you're the Sunflora being <laughs> beaten up by my Pokemon right now. <laughs> Bam! Me and the girlies are running around through town just prancing all willy-nilly and I'm here for it. Oh, here's another one. Oh, I see one just there. Please don't tell me I have to battle it. No, thank God. I don't have to battle it. Three more, three more. Where would they be? Mmm. Oh, found one. Two more. We have eight total. Are there any in here? I see one. Hello. Oh my God. Look at us go. Me and the gang. Yes! <laughs> We're on our way to jump anybody who tries it with me. Trust. Oh my God. Everybody's watching me as I do this. <laughs> I have performance anxiety. I don't want to. Oh my God. How is he standing on a windmill? I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass type Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here at the Artazan gym. All right, here we go, y'all. It's the first gym battle already. Oh my God. Here we go, Peter. It's up to you and your big ass head. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell, what do you mean sleep out? If one more of my fucking Pokemon fall asleep during a battle, like, of course Peter's fast asleep. No, of course. And now this man is gonna be attacking constantly. Like, it's just so obvious that you're intimidated by me that you choose to make my Pokemon fall asleep so that they literally can't attack. Oh my God, finally, he woke up. Yes, and just like that, cleared. Cleared the Petalil. Can I be extra? Like, it's so obvious that I don't need to, but I want to just terrestrialize just to like really show it off. You know, I'm the main character. Y'all can't fuck with me because I can make my Pokemon go onto fucking crystal mode, okay? This is the headpiece runway on RuPaul's Drag Race, and I am here to serve charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent to take down the three HP that that Pokemon had remaining. Miss Arca, congratulations. You're the winner of this week's challenge, even though there's still one Pokemon left. Let's go, Peter. Oh, shit. Oh, come through, Peter. Oh my God, he avoided. Yes, Peter. Yes. Mr. Peter himself did that. Oh my God, coming through at the end with that move. Avant-garde. Is he saying that as an expression term? Bam, oh, okay, we're out here. We are out here taking photos with everybody, huh? I know our Instagram feed is popping right now. Ooh, cutscene time. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the Team Stars bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? Yeah, that's why I'm here. Hold on a second. Oh. Hello? Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Who is he? Oh, Clive. Okay, Clive with that hair. How long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Vis? Who the fuck are you? Wait, oh my God, is that who I think? Is that fucking Clavel? I mean, you know what? Honestly, I'm here for it. Oh my God, that's a wig. Wait, Clavel, honestly, I kind of stand. I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you have to defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out quick, I have to come at you in self-defense. Oh crap, he just incinerated Carby. Oh my God, the bread. Let's go, Kurt Hummel. Okay, I thought that would do more damage, but we love it anyways. Ah, oh, crap, not the roar. Who, who? Peter, of all things, you have to drag out Peter. And he's roaring again, why? Why is everybody in Paldea so dumb? Oh my God, again with the freaking roar? Like, they really just want my entire team to have a chance to shine, huh? How considerate. D at least attack my Pokemon. What the fuck? They really just want to see my entire team. That's what's happening here. Cloth, welcome back to the stage. You're probably confused. So am I, trust. Oh my god, finally he fainted. Maybe he'd stop with this damn roaring. Oh my god, Clive, my king, he's back. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fireproof's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now. The first three Pokemon. Kurt Hummel definitely has to come. 
cloth has got to come with us. I guess Dudu Head can come with us too, because like, why not? Heads up, gang. Some jumped up kid has wandered into thinking he can raid our base. Clearly, he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson. If you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss just might honor you with an appearance. Oh my god, the Pokemon are just coming out. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Kurt Hummel is out here doing all of it. He is the MVP of this scene. Dudu Head, go. Kurt Hummel, go. Okay, this is actually kind of fun. Oh my god. Damn, 30 seconds in and we're already a third of the way there. Okay, come on, four more, four more. Where are they? There's three right here. Kurt can take those on easily. I just realized that two of my Pokemon are either close to death or already dying. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on, Doodoo -doo Head, do it. Do it, defeat the team. Oh, bam, we did it, nice. Oh God, it's time, it's time. The moment we've been waiting for. Oh shit. Okay, there she is. The girl we've seen, Miss Mella. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Kurt, baby, it's up to you. She's got two Pokemon on her team. This Torkoal, and hmm, I wonder who the other one is. Yo, that did like no damage. Oh my God, it's level 27. I didn't even notice. Oh, I have no idea what I'm in for right now, huh? I can't believe Kurt Hummel is getting obliterated right now. Holy shit. <coughs> well, to anybody who hasn't seen blacking out in this game yet, here's how it, here's how it works. And clearly I need to train my damn Pokemon in order to take this team star mission because who would have thunk that i was under leveled for it oh my god oh my god are you kidding me it just came out of nowhere what the fuck i don't want to battle this right now no i'm leaving 